Five investigates tonight with the new push to protect children and teens from sex abuse at the hands of educators. Abuse survivors share their painful stories on Beacon Hill, hoping that lawmakers will give police, prosecutors and schools the tools that they need to protect vulnerable students. Here's Karen Anderson tonight. He, he took my soul. I mean, he took my spirit away. You know, I was a shell of who I was for a long time. Jennifer Falcone was 11 years old when she says a school administrator started taking her out of class, bringing her to his office and sexually abusing her. It was as if he took all the life out of me and I had to pretend to be alive still. Jennifer says despite warning signs, no one stopped him. And she says he started allowing other men to rape her in his office as well. By the end, I believed he would kill me if I told anyone. It went on for three years until Jennifer Jennifer's gym teacher suspected something was wrong and refused to let the administrator take her from class. And just that simple act made the abuse stop. Now she's testifying on Beacon Hill with other survivors like Senator Joanne Lovely, as well as parents, police and child advocates in support of a comprehensive bill to protect children and teens from sexual abuse. It would require teachers to be trained to respond to warning signs. The bill would also raise the legal age of consent from 16 to 19 when a student and educator are involved. In 2015, five investigates found on average the licenses of 15 Massachusetts educators were suspended each year for sexual misconduct. But there often weren't criminal charges. When students are 16 or older, by law, it's not a crime. Our hands are tied. We, we had no legal rights, and that's just just not right. These mothers both had daughters who were 16 when they became sexually involved with their teachers. We are doing this so that nobody else goes through the pain that we have been through. Dudley Police Chief Steve Weiner has been working to raise the age of consent for educators for more than a decade. Why is it taking so long? to have something like this get done. I still am waiting to hear from someone as to a reason why this isn't a good idea. Jennifer now trains people to recognize signs of sexual abuse. If we're looking for it, we can prevent it. Now, Jennifer and those who testified are asking people to contact lawmakers to say they support the bill. They hope that gets enough votes to make it out of the committee and eventually become law. Karen Anderson, 5 Investigate. Karen